Now let me ask you another question. Why do we need fellowship? There is a key here. The key here is love. Relationship, encouragement, fellowship stem from one place, love. Right? Let me just explain this to you in my little logic. Right? 1 John chapter 4 says, Anyone who does not love does not know God, for God is love. Not God has love. God is love. Further down again it says, God is love. Right? Everybody okay with that? God is love. He's the definition of love. He's the source of love. God is love. Not has love. He is love. Right? Let me read in Genesis chapter 1, how God says, let us make man in our image and likeness. Now, if you and I are made in the image and likeness of God, and God is love, what does that tell you about us? We are made and created to function in and out of love. And when we don't receive this love, we malfunction. The soul malfunctions. We malfunction as human beings. And this is so important to understand. The enemy comes except to steal, kill and destroy. And he comes and goes after love in your life. He robs us of our love. And that's why we are so stingy. That's why even Christians who call themselves love, if they are truly not connected to the source, we are stingy and end up being jerks. Because we are not lavish with love. Because even for us, it's a scarce commodity. Because we are not connected to the source of love. When you are connected to the source of love and you realize, I'm, I'm, I'm an enemy of God and he died for me. That's what the scripture says. Christ died for us while we were his enemies. And when you realize that Christ died for me when I'm a sinner, when Christ did all this for me, I'm like, nothing can separate us from the love of God. Oh my gosh, I, I'm loved. Man, I'm loved. Therefore, I don't have to be stingy in giving love, even if people abuse the love. Please catch this, because many of us have given and have got hurt, so you say, I cannot love again. I've, I see this in couples very often. Couples say, oh, I have loved, I have given love, I've been hurt and broken so much, I can't love again. You can if you connect to the source, because there's enough love in him for you to love again. Believe that. Maybe that's for somebody here this morning. You can love again. There is enough, because God is love. And he has the love. It doesn't matter if the person, people around you don't have love. He has love that you need to function. So grab hold of that. And this is what we need to understand. You are created to have fellowship with one another. This is why we can't do this Sunday club thing. Club Sunday is where I come to the club. Right? There are better clubs. See, there has to be a shift. There has to be a change. This has to change. And I believe this is why we have to understand you and I are here because God says you need to fellowship with me and you have to fellowship with one another. It's not an option. That's the way I created you. That's how I designed you, young people. You need fellowship. That's God's system. And without fellowship, you will die. Without fellowship with Him, your spirit dies. Very soon your soul dies. And then it's only a matter of fact when your body dies. We need this fellowship. This is God's system. 